Okay, welcome everyone. This is going to be a relatively short webinar today. The introductory slide there gives you our standard information. Maybe one of the most important things is feel free to ask questions in the question pod during the webinar as you think of those questions. We always have the uh, questions and answers in a materials link on the courses and webinars page in the archived webinars. Just search NCBI courses and webinars and you'll find that page. And within a few days, this webinar, which is being recorded, will be on our YouTube channel along with the others. Please feel free to email me directly if you have questions afterward at matten at ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. And of course, send general BLAST questions to blast-help at that NCBI domain. And sitting here with me today is Christian Camacho and Tom Madden, developers from the BLAST group. So you'll get some very expert answers to your questions. Peter Cooper is on the question pod answering questions during the webinar. So let me go ahead and give you the take home message for today. So the take home message is we highly encourage you to upgrade to version 2.5.0 before November 9th. And the next slide will tell you what's gonna happen on November 9th. So the first of the topics today has to do with an NCBI-wide switch to HTTPS from standard HTTP, but this will particularly affect standalone BLAST in a couple ways that I'll show you on the next slide. This change is going to take effect for APIs on November 9th that deal with BLAST. The general web pages at NCBI have already made this change. I'll also talk a bit about another NCBI-wide change, which is the phasing out of GI numbers and how using accession.version will impact standalone BLAST. And then very briefly touch on a couple other improvements that came out in this release. So what's gonna break on November 9th uh, if you are still using version 2.4.0 or earlier? Primarily the remote option. In other words, if you send searches to our servers using the remote option, that will fail to work unless you have upgraded to 2.5.0 on November 9th. Another function uh, some of you may or may not be using, but it's very handy, and that is a prefetch function. In the past, in other words, in previous versions, you could only use that with the remote option. But in this version, it's been improved, and you can use that without the remote option. So what happens is you input a query file that contains identifiers, either GIs or accessions, and the programs will fetch those IDs from NCBI to get the sequence records. So you will not be able to use these two functions if you have not upgraded before November 9th. Now having said that, we plan to have a test this coming Thursday, October 13th, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. In other words, you know, try running version 2.4.0 and it should not work during that time, but 2.5.0 should. We may very well have other tests before the 9th, we probably will, before November 9th and look on our web pages for an announcement of those tests. Hopefully we can get an announcement out in the uh, Blast Announce email list for those uh, other upcoming tests. Okay, so the second major change has to do with phasing out of GIs, and I've got a couple links on the last couple slides where you can get more general information about both the HTTPS change and the phase out of GIs. But in terms of standalone Blast, What's going to happen is you'll be seeing more and more the new style of definition line versus the old style. So in the old style, definition line starts with GI and then a, a pipe symbol and then the number and so on. We're moving now to just what we call bare accession dot version, as you see in the new style. Now those of you who are downloading our FASTA databases from the BLAST FTP site have already noticed this. Uh, we've already switched over to the uh, accession.version uh, definition lines. But there are other places where this will become more apparent in standalone BLAST. For example, in BLASTDB command, if you retrieve sequences from our pre-formatted databases, that is those one directory up from FASTA, the default setting for returning FASTA will fit out the new style format, in other words, accession.version. You may see on my example command line here, I've used an accession. Uh, you can still use GI numbers as input to BLASTDB command, but you'll get back by default this uh, accession.version format. 
Some other changes uh, in MakeBlastDB, uh, it's been improved so it will accept both uh, the old and new style definition lines. So you don't have to worry about changing everything just yet. It will also guess the source from the accession alone if you're using parse seek IDs. And I assume that would be primarily with the, our pre-formatted databases. Also, many of you use the GI list option to uh, create a custom database, say, to an organism or taxonomic group. That GI list switch uh, is still available and will remain available. Uh, but we also have a seek ID list option. So that seek ID list option will take the accession versions. It's a bit slow with large lists right now, but that's going to be improved in future releases, we hope, by the uh, next release, if not the one following that. The next release, by the way, is 2.6.0. And as of today, that's scheduled to come out uh, either in December of this year or perhaps early next year. Okay, a couple other changes. In the uh, default output format, so those of you using the tabular output formats, you're now going to get by default query accession, sequence accession as shown here, in other words, the accession numbers. In the next release, you'll be getting accession.version. So you will not be getting back by default the GI style uh, definition lines. Okay, so that's those are the two major changes. One of the improvements we've made is to uh, offer another output format option, and that's output format option 18 will now give you a taxonomy organism report. So if you're familiar with using this on the web, it's similar in look to that, uh, very nicely organizes the output by organism, as you see in this example. And finally, in terms of improvements, we now have included composition-based statistics when you use RPS TBLASTN. If you're not familiar with that program, this allows you to input a nucleotide sequence. It does the translations and searches against the uh, conserved domain database. You get back conserved domains, not bet back. RPS Blast, as some of you may know, allows you to input a protein sequence and see what conserved domains are there. RPS T Blast N allows you to input a nucleotide sequence. Okay, so I promised a couple uh, links, so you can go to our news page to find out about uh, the general GI number phase out and go to our home page in the develop section and then the API section you can read about the switch to HTTPS. And for full discussion of the release notes go to the NCBI bookshelf. You can just search NCBI bookshelf blast and you'll get these uh, release notes written by Christian. So I'm going to open this up for any questions. I'm going to check out our chat pod here, see if we've had any questions come in. Okay, we're not seeing any questions at the moment. Thank you very much, and we will see you at the next webinar.